Be sure to register for the appropriate student teaching session. Requests for placements must be submitted to the Field Experience Office by the specified due date. Do not contact schools or cooperating teachers to solicit your placement into a school. All placements are arranged by the Field Experience Office with principals and human resource personnel within school divisions. Be sure your child abuse records check and criminal records check are up to date. The Field Experience must have your original forms on file in the office and they must not be older than two years. Keep copies with you to present to schools as requested. Become accustomed to using your BU email because the Field Experience Office will correspond with you using this method. Personal emails will not be used as we often have trouble with frequent address changes and errors are often made entering the appropriate data. Your BU email will stay with you for the duration of your studies at BU, so you should get used to using it as your primary address for information. Student teachers should familiarize themselves with standard policies to ensure that they do not risk termination in a field experience placement. Policies are available on the Faculty of Education website. Any form of professional misconduct can be reason for a terminated placement. Once the Field Experience Office has finalized a placement for the student teacher, the student will be notified. A list of assigned supervisors will be posted outside the Field Experience Office. Please contact your supervisor once the list is posted to exchange contact information. Once students are notified, they should contact the school and bring a copy of the Child Abuse Records Check and their Criminal Records Check to the principal. A resume and thank you letter should also be brought to the school at the same time. Contact should be made with the cooperating teacher well in advance of the first day of the placement also. Students should introduce themselves and familiarize themselves with the classroom and determine planning with the cooperating teacher that is necessary in preparation for their arrival into the classroom. At the initial visit, discuss the expectations that the cooperating teacher has and become educated on any exceptional or special needs students in the classroom. The first week of student teaching should be spent becoming familiar with classroom routines and assisting the teacher in any way possible. This is a time to display initiative and make observations that will assist student teachers when they assume a leadership role in the class. Student teachers will not be evaluated by their supervisors in the first week, but a schedule of visits with the supervisors should be set up during that first week so everyone is aware of scheduled dates. In the first placement, students should be prepared to teach two lessons per week. In the second placement, they should prepare one unit and do some student teaching on a daily basis. The third placement requires the preparation of two units and to take over a class for one to two weeks. Students are expected to take over a class for three to four weeks in the final placement and be able to demonstrate that they are capable of assuming their own classroom. Daily attendance is expected. The teacher certification branch expects a minimum amount of time spent student teaching and have the right to disallow certification if sufficient days are not completed. Even with doctor's note for illness, most days that are spent as absent should be made up. Student teachers should be reflective of their performance and be open to the suggestions of their cooperating teacher and supervisor. Be sure to complete full lesson plans during your placements. You must be able to demonstrate that you are capable of completing lesson plans that reflect outcomes in the curriculum and that your methods for evaluation reflect the learning goals of your plan. Be thankful of your experience in the classroom. Present the Certificate of Appreciation at the end of the placement. For more information about the Brandon University Cooperating Teacher Program, please refer to the Faculty of Education Field Experience Handbook or contact the Field Experience Office at 204-727-9647 or the Field Experience Director at 204-727-9638. For more information about the Brandon University Faculty of Education, visit us at www.brandonu.ca/education.